I like to say that reading is like exercising. We all know we should do it. It's good for us, but we just can't bring ourselves to do it regularly. I think in the recent past, especially after COVID, reading is sort of going through a resurgence. You know, people are talking about it more, the benefits of it, and people genuinely want to read more. Now, I wish if we all could read just about everything under the sun. I wish we had the time for that. That would certainly increase our knowledge like anything and maybe make our thinking a hundred times better. But, you know, we can't do it. We just can't read everything. So maybe whatever we read, we should try and read in a way that helps make our thinking, if not hundred times, maybe ten times better. So today we are going to talk about just that. But before we begin, a word of caution. This is not a video about reading hacks like speed reading, etc. Because, you know, I don't think those work. Those do not improve your thinking. If you just want to read for the sake of reading more books, then sure, you know, use all the hacks. But I don't think that should be your goal. You know, the ultimate goal of reading should be to make yourself a better thinker. And that's what I am going to focus on. I will talk about five tips which will help you become a smarter thinker. All these tips are from my personal experience of being a very curious reader over the years. I have, you know, read a lot of books, a lot of different kinds of stuff, and I have discovered certain tips that have helped me become a better thinker through reading. Let's begin. The number one tip would be to read both non-fiction and fiction. Now, I know that non-fiction is more popular and more people like reading that. But let me tell you that fiction is incredibly important if you want to improve your thinking. Do not ignore fiction. Do not ignore novels. Now, number one reason is that fiction actually helps protect your memory. That's right. In this New York Times article by a leading neuroscientist, fiction should be read because it has a lot of memory benefits. You know, it requires active engagement with the text. It requires you to remember the characters, what they have done in the past, what they are doing now, the entire storyline. All this helps to build your memory, which is something that usually nonfiction doesn't do as well. That's why, you know, if you want to protect your memory, read fiction. Also, you know, people might say that they want to read for knowledge and nonfiction uh, provides more knowledge than fiction. I would argue against that because fiction can eliminate your mind about so many different kinds of knowledge that you wouldn't have thought about.